Welcome to another episode of The Brand Called You, a podcast and podcast show that brings you leadership lessons, knowledge, experience, and wisdom from thousands of successful individuals from around the world. I'm your host, Ashutosh Garg, and today I'm delighted to welcome a very, very accomplished professional from uh, Ahmedabad, India, Dr. P.K. Rajput. Dr. Rajput, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I am blessed. Thank you. Dr. Rajput is a global speaker. He's an international life coach. He's a mentor. He's a corporate trainer and an educator. He's a thought leader, an author, a change maker, chief guest, and guest of honor, a keynote speaker, moderator, and an active panelist on numerous national and international forums and events. He's the co-author of a book titled The House of Wisdom, and he's been recognized, awarded, and felicitated several times. So, Dr. Rajput, before we get into talking about leadership, uh, tell me a little bit about your own journey. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. First of all, I am very happy uh, to be a part of the brand Call You, which is the name which has been recognized in the entire world where, uh, Asush, sir, you are making a lot of difference in the young's mind because you always want to build the youngsters uh, so that they should be shining in the entire globe, which is very, very important thing. So uh, once again, please accept my gratitude Thank you, sir. Right, for inviting me on your wonderful show. So my journey is very simple. My journey was that I started with the same one company, Cadilla Pharma, as a simple medical rep mm. while leaving the engineering college for 45 days. BSc engineering college, leaving 45 days with a simple one thing in the mind that, yes, I have to do something. Mm. Because at that time, 40 years back, I was not aware of the, what are the hierarchies are there. But only one thing was there. The passion was there. The persistence was there. The discipline was there. The determination was there that let us make the things happen. Mm. So the journey started as a medical rep. And then further, it started growing as an area manager, region manager, and D DGM. And at a different various level, then from mm. last 22 years, I was in Ahmedabad, taking care for multiple divisions together. And then after India and Nepal, then organization has given the responsibility for So it was like always a learning experience, building with the team, working with the team, learning with the team, and also encouraging the team from a medical rep level to the senior vice president vertical head level. In between, sir, I also completed my MBA, specialized course from IIM Ahmedabad, 27 certification courses from different parts of the world. I also completed last year at the age of 59, my doctorate, PhD, and I also have an opportunity to get 12 honorary doctorate as well. Amazing. So I always feel that learning, thank you, sir, learning never ends till the last breath is every second every person who meets you he is a book yeah. or she is a book yeah. wonderful that is all so, my journey very a lot of journey. work dr rajput with leaders so my next set of yes, questions sir. are on leadership let me start by asking you about the work you do with leaders sir an excellent question you have touched my heart so during my this wonderful journey i have learned and I have practiced with my team that in the working with the leader is to establish first thing is transparency mm -hmm. in communication and the trust. Mm -hmm. These are the basic two foundations are there, sir. And taking along with them with us to have the clear cut consensus. Right. You know, when we sit in the boardroom, there will be, there is a single one goal. Mm -hmm. Maybe the way of expressions are different. But when we come enter inside the things, we are very clear about it. The goal is one. So everybody start thinking and then we'll have 10 ideas. Mm. So without degrading the leaders, other leaders, we appreciate and take the best of the best as a consensus one. Mm. Listen to their ideas, respect to the ideas, willing to make the changes if they suggest about it. Because it is not, it is that I'm not going to drive the thing. They are the people who are going to accept it. Mm. Persistent in your efforts to make the thing best of it demonstrate the commitment to their cause, which is very important. Mm. And always make sure that as a person, we are open and honest with them that they can understand the strength and the weaknesses as well. Mm. Because when you when you make your uh, colleagues or the leaders understand, they are always there to support you as a pillar. Mm. Instead of you are going to be, uh, somebody is going to pull you up. Show mm. them that you are the valuable asset to their team and you are willing to learn and grow. So these are the few basic things are there, sir, which is which is important, which I feel that Amazing. I am doing it. I love to do it. Sir. Amazing. And, you know, you've been uh, 
a, a leader for a long period of time in the pharmaceutical industry. What makes a good leader? Sir, I always say first is the integrity, which is very important. Mm. Because what I want to show, I should be doing it. Mm. Then only. So that is integrity, honesty, openness. When we will be open, the people will come and accept you. They will tell your ideas to you. Mm. Right? Responsibility. That yes, I am responsible. I am there with you because if anything goes wrong, I take the sheer responsibility of myself. Mm. So that you are going to give a lot of confidence to the people. Mm. Right communication to achieve the goal. Don't go here and there. Vision is very clear. So that when the vision is clear, the goal is clear, the communication is clear, then the transparency, accountability, responsibility, it will start evolving, sir. Mm. Delegation skills is very important. If you start delegating it, means you are giving the responsibility to the person. Mm. You are confident on the person. Mm. You are appraising the person. You are inspiring the person which is very important mm. and always ability to develop the relationship with their team. They got mm. relationship is very, very strong because they work for the people. They don't work for anybody else and people and people makes the entire chain very strong, sir. Mm. Very good. Great answer. And uh, Dr. Rajput, are leaders born or are they trained and made? Sir, it is a both thing, sir. Mm. The, they are, the leaders are born also because the inherited quality, because when we say the bond part, it is the genetics, the genes, and the value system of the family. Mm. So that is the thing which the, the parents they in, inspire the child, right? Mm. This is one thing. Mm. There are some parents are there probably they are not aware about it. And we have a lot of the examples. Mm. Like we talk about Mr. Sundar Pichai, we talk about respected prime minister, we talk about such a good people in mm. the industry. Where now they have people are they were born, but they made themselves as a leader. Right. They adopted the skills, right, and can be taught also and developed mm. through the training, mentoring, and plenty of the practice. Mm. So you have the ignition, but you start developing it. So I will say, sir, both things are parallel. It depends upon the person and personality, sir. Very interesting. My next question to you, uh, Dr. Rajput, is uh, relating to the pandemic. And I have spoken to many leaders the pandemic has been probably one of the most testing times for leaders because they've had to manage people from home, manage their outputs, manage their bottom lines, everything. How, in your opinion, has the pandemic impacted leadership? Sir, uh, you have again touched my heart. Believe you me, uh, let me just add before I should say how mm -hmm. we as a team, as a, not me, we as a team, mm -hmm. 38 months as a vertical head sure. in the entire pharmaceutical industry, mm -hmm. we achieve the target in spite of Corona or not. Yes. And all the divisions, they achieve the target. And that is the reason like there is a Limca book of, thank you, sir. Like that is the way like Limca book of records are there. We got OMG book of records mm -hmm. that yes, this wonderful team has achieved and none of my division, mm -hmm. five division never ever missed the target. Mm -hmm. So how it had happened? It was very, very simple, and but it was really required. Mm. A strong communication with them that I am there with you, supporting an environment mm. which is there. So you are giving the confidence to them, developing a team mindset. Don't worry, nothing is going to happen. Mm. If you will not achieve the target, we are there to support you. Somebody else will take up. Mm. So it is like a team building which has started happening. We started telling that, okay, this place is some problem is there. Let mm. us help this gentleman or this area so that we start building the thing. Learning and development was increased. Mm -hmm. So he said, then we are sitting in there in the home. Let us brush our knowledge. Let us learn what are the new things are there. Mm -hmm. Feedback and follow up to them, sir, which is mm -hmm. again making a lot of difference. So these things are there, sir, which has really added a lot many things. And they, we have impl implemented new policies also, sir, mm -hmm. which was very important that how the change management is required and how the change management slowly can be taken turn off. Immediately you cannot turn the change. Right. Equip the people, make the people, testify the people and work with their families also. Mm. Support the family. Make that as a complete family. 3,000 people when they come together and when they enjoy together on the Microsoft Teams, right? Mm. You feel that, oh my God, you are the best of the per person in the world, sir. Mm. And everybody is the best in the world. Very that nice. is the reason, sir, we have taken care of a pandemic. Very, very interesting. My next question to you is on culture, you know, and we are a very multicultural country, you know, different states, different upbringing, 
our parents, but every parent tells us, come first in class, go to the head of the line, etc. What are your thoughts on how does culture impact leadership? Ah, wow. Very nice again, sir. The culture, uh, the culture has a major impact on leadership. You are right, absolutely. Because the culture, it shapes the values, mm -hmm. beliefs, behavior, and the attitude of the leader, sir. Mm -hmm. Rather, I can say a leader values, beliefs, and behaviors are all influenced by the culture in which they have been embedded. Correct. So it is a parent's culture. Mm -hmm. And then when they join any profession, then the college culture also. Mm -hmm. Right. Parents, school, college, and the environment when you are giving it to the people as a professional. Mm -hmm. So here I talk, it is the responsibility of the leader to provide the right culture to the people. Because mm -hmm. if you hold the people properly, and if you feel them that, yes, they should be working as a leader, that culture is going to always be towards the performance side. Mm -hmm. And different culture also prioritizes the different qualities and behavior, sir. It also includes the uh, influences what the leader communicates by understanding the people. Like right. the five fingers are not one, sir. Same mm -hmm. way we have to take care with all the five fingers, with all the strengths together, sir. Very good. Thank you for a good, great response. The next question I, I have is, and you know, you've been working for four decades. What are some of the key changing trends you have seen uh, or observed in leadership over the last three or four decades? Uh, sir, another very, very good question. The people mindset are getting change. Right. Right. They are really, they are thinking that how to go very fast about it. Mm -hmm. How the technology is going to be adopted, whether technology is going to replace them or not. Mm -hmm. What are the new ways of thinking the things? So when I talk about the new generation which is coming, they want an immediate response. Mm -hmm. They want that how to jump the things very, very fast about it. Right. So when I say in the pharmaceutical industry, sir, we started with a one-to-one -one relationship. Mm -hmm. Then after that, this pandemic has changed with the digital part also. Then we started adopting technology. When we started helping the people. Today, sir, let me tell you, I love to learn from the youngsters mm. because they are very open. They want to fly in the world. They don't want to stop. Mm. People, they say the youngsters are not so important. But I say no. If you give the right areas, right thing, they are going to teach you. And I love whatever I have loved in technology. I give this thing I owe this thing to my all the youngest colleague who has taught me. And I very openly say that I am a shameless learner. I love to be a shameless learner. Mm, wonderful. My next question to you is that, you know, there has been a lot of discussion about the great resignation. A uh, lot of people have resigned because of the pandemic. There have been a lot of people who have been asked to go and that's called the great termination. How is this impacting leadership? Sir, uh, great technician should be, I'm very clear, professional, thoughtful, and it has to be very clear. Mm. It is always very important to give your employer the sufficient notice before you leave. Mm. Right. Because it is from the both the side. Because mm. of that, they have plenty of time to find a suitable replacement as well. Mm. Because it's the organization they require and the person who works that is also important. Mm. And it's always important to be remunerative. And leave the door open for the future collaboration, mm -hmm. the opportunities. Mm -hmm. This I personally feel about it, sir. And and uh, again, the reaction should be that always it has to be a positive reaction. Mm -hmm. Because whenever you are leaving it, you go with a positive part. Things are going to happen because organization, they want to grow in the double digit growth because they want to change the entire scenario. People, they also want to grow. Sometimes the amalgamation doesn't happen properly. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean that you are just discarding it. Mm -hmm. Accept it. Take it. And move forward. Well said. Well said. So one more question on leadership. And then I want a few questions for you on the pharmaceutical industry. Um, you know, we are all seeing the millennials and the Gen Zs who are the young leaders getting into positions of influence. And I think they're bringing very, very new perspectives into management. I'm 66 years old and I really enjoy talking to a lot of the young leaders I want to understand from you, how are the young leaders changing the leadership paradigm? Fantastic question, sir. I, first of all, lot of love and respect to the young leaders, right? Because 
they are really want to change the approach of leadership mm. that are wrong because now sir when we started the journey uh, 40 years back mm. it was like a bossism right then after that the character has come for the manager right you have to manage the thing mm. then sir it has come as a leadership mm. then sir it has come as a servant leadership mm. and today the scenario has changed becoming as a mentorship you will agree with me correct right so they desire that leadership which is more collaborative sir authentic inclusive and they emphasize on the work life balance mm. because you should not start pulling the people otherwise they will discard you so accept it help them and make the thing grow mm. so this has also led to the organization seeking leaders who are more approachable empathetic today mm. we talk about the emotional intelligence today we talk about the creative caution right so these all the things are the blend of all these things this is strong communication listening skills you have to listen not what they are speaking the body language the way the which way what type of emails are coming to you listen properly and then respond properly never ever react with the people sir mm. and then coming to the technology which is driven making them to understand the right uses to the technology mm. because this is going to give them the accurate part yeah. time bond mm. optimum utilization of the money mm. for a better sustainable roi sir mm. so this is the respect which i also personally give to the generation that Z and the millennials, sir. Very well said. Thank you. So let me ask you a few questions now on the pharmaceutical industry. You spent your whole life there. The pharma industry is booming, you know, and it's booming all over the country. But I want to ask you, what are some of the challenges the industry faces? So first, I will say it's booming. So that is a positive. because we are known as the pharmacy of the world Correct. 40% of our generic medicine is going to the entire world sir mm. and believe you me the way our respected prime minister and the people the manufacturer they are working by 2030 we are going to be the number one come uh, pharma sector in the entire world the growth mm. is enormous today we are growing with a double digit so sir now coming to the part which you have asked about it what are the factors are there which is really uh, going to make a difference so mm. the intense price is competition which is making difficult for the companies to maintain the profit margin because that is reducing now the right. government is also putting the pressure there they are taking the some couple of the drug now again 150 drugs are under drug price control mm. so that margin has going down the industry is also becoming sir more regulated with the healthcare providers and the government is also taking a greater role which is very important pm sir is taking a greater role in dictating the prices and availability of the treatment mm. today you have the sochm is there nutraceuticals are coming and they are working on the genetic drugs are there biosimilars are there you talk all so government is putting that a poor person should be given the best of the best medicine so mm. these are the challenges are there and industry is becoming more continuously innovate and develop which is very important mm. the new treatment new therapies and the product to stay ahead of the competition and changing the entire consumer demand so mm. this is the thing which i have seen sir and which i foresee also whenever i go and speak on any of the pharma meeting either in the national or in the international meet sir mm. well said well said and uses of the technology now yeah. well said the next question that i have is you know that india used to manufacture a lot of the apis they were shifted to china now there are other challenges what will it take and i know a lot of efforts are going on but what will it take to manufacture our apis and all the other bulk ingredients in india sir uh, this is a question which uh, all the manufacturers and all the uh, all the people they are really working on that i'm mm -hmm. not say worry they are working on that and it requires a, a comprehensive understanding mm -hmm. of the regulatory framework mm -hmm. which is very very important meeting the certain standards and having the right infrastructure technology and expertise mm. so here we talk about the skills here we talk about the manufacturing in 4.0 which we are going to update our skills with the uses of ai with the uses of ar vr mm. and additionally sir it also requires a reliable source of the raw materials mm. we cannot take the raw material which has been discarded in, in the, and it should match with the us fda Mm. safe manufacturing facility that's why i said 4.0 right. qualified and skilled personnel to run the operations they should understand the nitty gritties which mm. is really required and it should be available in the ingredients in the india sir to invest in the factories manufacturers the billionaires should put the things 
they should not be thinking that what is my ROI. They mm -hmm. should see the long term ROI, which is going to help a lot. Mm -hmm. And in addition, sir, manufacturing process and the local and the international regulations are very important mm -hmm. so that we can spread the entire things in the entire world, sir. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. I'm going to now move to your book. You are the co-author of a book titled The House of Wisdom. Tell me a little bit about your book. Uh, sir, uh, this is uh, the journey which uh, I was writing it, thinking it, that it's the mind which decides, sir, you will agree with me. Right? It is the attitude which makes the, make the altitude. Right? With the right thinking aptitude, you will agree. So I said, what is the thing? There is a fixed mindset. And there is a growth mindset. Mm. If I started my journey from Gorakhpur, leaving an engineering college by making initially my parents uh, that what this guy is going to do, what their child is going to do, right? But the mindset was the growth mindset. Mm. So I said that if you have a growth mindset, instead of the fixed mindset, you can achieve anything. Mm. Because when you start growing it, you will have humility, humanity, compassion, empathetism, and also have the we think of keep on learning the thing which is very important mm. right so this is the thing that the my book is along with my co-author mr abhishek dr abhishek pandey we have written mm. so basically it is talking about the things the different 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 parameters the psychometric part which is very important how a mm. person feel how you can change it politely mm. politely and delegate the things there that is there mm. since you asked about it i'm very happy to inform sir my next book i am writing it the leaders with ladders the mm. name of the book is The Leaders with Ladders, which will be coming in the first week of March. Wonderful. So that is there, which I'm giving small, small anecdotes, because today nobody wants to read 20, uh, 200 pages book. So that is a 100 pages book, which will be there. The small anecdotes, which will be there, what I have learned in my journey, sir. Fantastic. And Dr. Rajput, my last question to you now, and this is for the thousands of people who will listen to our conversation. Based on all your learnings, through your amazing journey as a leader, what would you say are three lessons you want our viewers and listeners to take away? Uh, sir, it is you are you are asking a question like putting the entire ocean in the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so, sir, I will, uh, with your permission, I will add little more which comes from my sure. heart and mind, sure. if you don't sure. mind. Can sure. I? Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. So, one is that take responsibility. Hmm. Sir, take responsibility. Leaders must, must take full responsibility. Hmm. Because if you take responsibility, the team will be there with you. They will always be working for you. Right. Listen to others. Hmm. Lead by examples. Communicate effectively. Because that is the key role in the leadership. Yeah. Show Very respect to each and every person. Mm. Love and embrace the change. Mm. What is the change is technology. Love it. Embrace it. Learn mm. it. Mm. Be adaptable. Mm. Stay positive because it is not a half glass empty or half glass filled. I always Correct. say it is half glass filled. Mm. Have integrity, sir. Mm. And the last is stay always organized. Mm. If you will That's organize, right. you can make the things very well. That is the thing which I want to put it, sir, here. Wonderful. And on that note, Dr. Rajput, and all your amazing lessons, I was able to record a few of them, but they're all on, on, on tape, uh, on, on, on our recording. But you said take responsibility, listen to others, lead by example, and you had several others. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Thank you for talking to me about yes, your own amazing journey. And I think... It is very, very creditable that you started as a medical representative and then you were leading very large amounts of, of your of many, many divisions of your company. Thank you for speaking to me about your amazing perspectives on leadership. I think there were so many things that I picked up from all the experience that you have shared with us. Thank you also for speaking to me about the pharmaceutical industry. Thank you for talking to me about your book. Wish you all success for your new book, which is coming soon. And uh, thank you again for your lessons. Thank you again and good luck. Sir, thank you so much for giving me opportunity. I'm really blessed, very happy. And this is the attitude of gratitude for you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the brand called You videocast and podcast. 
platform that brings you knowledge, experience and wisdom of hundreds of successful individuals from around the world. Do visit our website www.tbcy.in to watch and listen to the stories of many more individuals. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Just search for the brand called Youth.